Hey everybody, Hi Tech Hill Billy here. So today I wanted to show y'all what lens not to use for virtual tours. Now I've seen a lot of charts by a lot of people that would recommend the Sigma 4.5 millimeter EX lens. I believe it's an f2.8 lens. And so I ordered one. I got it from Japan, new, and brought it home. I was very excited, loaded it up, took some photos, and was very disappointed. I was horrified. In fact, I wasted about an hour and a half in PT GUI just thinking, oh no, there's something wrong with PT GUI. But nope, it wasn't that. It was the lens. So here I have the Sigma 15 millimeter. I believe it's an f2.8, but it's on f8 right now, um, where I took this picture on the left. And on the right, we have the Sigma EX 4.5. It's also on f8. Both are at 250 ISO. One has a slightly more, uh, slightly fast shutter speed than the other, but that's not going to impact the image differences much. So if we look here, I mean, you can just see right off the bat that the image on the left is crisp, clean, in focus. And the image on the right is just horrific. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's as bad as it gets. This is worse than the Theta Z1. So I've, I actually got this lens based off of a list online that somebody recommended and I don't have the browser open anymore I closed it they had a list of lenses that they recommend for 3d virtual tours and that's why I got this lens from Japan new and get it home and look at this these are taken from the same camera and the same settings this is a D810 uh, Nikon D810 and uh, look at that it's awful. It is absolutely trash. So don't use this lens for virtual tours. Don't do it. Don't even try it. Don't buy this lens. It is not meant for that. It's meant for up close photography. It is not meant, unless I have another bad lens, um, just don't do it. Anyway, I wanted to save you all a few bucks if you were ever considering buying this lens for that purpose. And um, that's that. This is High Tech Hillbilly. Wait a minute, I'm not done yet. Uh... Anyway, I, if this is just the characteristics of this lens, I mean, this is an expensive lens. This lens, new, I believe is five or six hundred dollars. And for that kind of money, you don't want to you don't want to blow that kind of money only to have this kind of result. Now these people out there, if there's just if this lens is just this way and th and I didn't get a dud, then the people that are recommending this lens out there have never even tested it. They haven't. I would like to see some results from this lens and virtual tours. So if y'all can point me to some, I'd love to see them. All right, well, this is High Tech Hillbilly out. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. High Tech Hillbilly out.